So I got access to VF Free, which is the AI generator, video generator for uh, Google uh, or Gemini. I just wanted to see its capabilities from the perspective of a 3D artist because we have seen a lot of examples, but most of them are just basically stock footage of people doing podcasts or just talking. Uh, I wanted to see its capability in terms of creating animation, uh, motion graphics, or even adverts, uh, VFX, and everything that we do as a 3D artist. So these are some of the prompts I did and some of the videos it managed to generate. You can see I have some uh, VFX, I have uh, some commercials, I have some sterilized. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at what happened. And the great thing about this new AI is that it can produce also sound. Let's take a listen to this and uh, check it out, maybe talk about it a bit. So uh, the first prompt I did was just make a sterilized character chess scene. And this is what uh, they gave me. Right away, you can see that uh, the AI is able to get the idea I had in mind. Just make a sterilized character chess scene, and you can see, yeah, the characters are sterilized, and it's a chess scene. Though it is just uh, like those slide screen games where the character is just running across the screen. While this might not be that impressive right now, let's face it, if you try to do something like this, uh, it would take you at least three days minimum, and that's if you really know what you're doing, and uh, maybe you already have the characters, and all you have to do is animate. So, so doing something like this would take you a lot of time. The only bits that, that uh, reveal that this this might be AI generated is how you start to see some smearing around here and I guess that could be a limitation not with the AI but the computation resources that are allowed uh, for an individual or a consumer like me. If this was a studio that, that was trying to generate these, maybe more resources would be availed to that studio and uh, a more computation power uh, to that studio because when you see this type of smearing the pixelation is usually not a limitation with the ai but with computational resources that were allowed for the for the generation of that particular uh, scene uh, but uh, if more computational resources are availed you usually get a more clear image and a better result so uh, th the major weakness with ai like this is that uh, if I wanted maybe a different scene, uh, say for example, I wanted a different angle instead of a cam the camera just moving left to right. If I try to regenerate this, I would get a completely different character's uh, style. Nothing would match, the themes would be different, even maybe the animation style would be different. Uh, that control isn't there yet, or at least not availed to, uh, to the public just yet maybe to studios we don't really know for sure right now but uh, it's either a limitation or not something that we have access to yet now this is another prompt i tried uh, let me just read out the prompt make a fight scene in the style of a cane one character punching the other and add different angles and cuts uh, let me just get here a trailer of a cane just so uh, in case you have never watched a cane just want to get a fight scene you can see the style that i was imagining and uh, so let's take a look at what they managed to do here <laughs> Maybe this, they, they are a bit too st stiff, but uh, again, most critic uh, that we, we can do here is going to be uh, cleared out or fixed in a few iterations. And uh, the style, though, it does miss a few things uh, because with a cane, there's always a layer of detail uh, that is added, that is painted over the characters uh, that I think is missing. Uh, they usually add in that paint, those paint strokes that make it look more 2D and uh, painterly. Uh, that is all that I'm saying that is missing here. One other thing that I think is really, really impressive that you might miss is the deliberate camera work. The way the camera predicts the movement and uh, just try to move to meet the characters in position, especially right around uh, here. And I also see it in the VFX shot here uh, that uh, I did here. So.
it looks more like a video game than the Akane series, TV series, uh, but it's still quite impressive. Next up, I wanted to see if uh, this AI could handle motion graphics or advertising. And uh, this is where Vio struggled quite a lot. Uh, so my prompt was create a strawberry drink advert where you have a strawberry on screen that explodes into a splash of strawberry juice. Have a glowing background with leaves and more strawberries orbiting a large strawberry. When it explodes, the shockwave pushes all the other strawberries away, revealing a strawberry pack drink with the words energy from nature. So let's play this and, uh, and judge. And this is where I think I have an issue with AI. Sometimes it just gives up and uh, doesn't even try uh, because it did try to get the instructions. And uh, uh, if you don't know, I am a 3D artist and I do make commercials myself. So I, I'll, let me just play a demo of something similar to to what I was trying to get the AI to do. So this is a, a trailer for my Blender Advanced Effects course. And uh, I just, I have a strawberry uh, ad that I created there. Yeah, here. And we get a splash just like that. And this is what the AI managed to do. So it's not that I don't think the AI could manage to do this, but sometimes this is something I've run into several times. Uh, even when I was using AI to do some programming, sometimes it just gave up and didn't even try. Uh, you could feel that it's capable of doing something, but just doesn't feel like doing it. And uh, uh, if you take a look at the instructions here, you can see that it gets everything right, except that the execution isn't there. Uh, we have a main strawberry in the center. Uh, we have some leaves that are orbiting, meant to orbit uh, the main one. And when I say that uh, have a glowing background, you can see we have a glowing background and uh, with leaves and more strawberries orbiting the larger strawberry that we also have when it explodes the shockwave pushes all the other strawberries away revealing a drink and you can see that there is an attempt to add the shockwave you can see these are getting pushed away and so it does really understand the instructions very well and you can see it adds the energy from nature and just look at the text it doesn't seem like it even tried to do to do a good job with this but it's getting the instruction but I've found that sometimes this AI just give up. And I've also had other creators, especially programmers, uh, talk about this, that sometimes you have to call it out on basically being lazy and it will do a good job. Okay, next up is the VFX. And uh, I must say this was the most impressive. Uh, we have some good camera work. We have some uh, debris, a physics simulation, a crowd simulation, and the color grading all on point. Okay, that's really, really impressive. So I wanted to do a different angle, maybe add a, a helicopter flying. And uh, yeah, this is another version I did uh, just to see if I could mix in extra uh, stuff in there. And uh, you can see the same issue that I was talking about earlier, uh, that uh, whenever you try again, uh, you get a completely different scene, though this isn't that different from what we have. I wanted the helicopter to be within this scene, but uh, yeah, you can see the scene has changed a bit. Uh, the buildings are not the same. The streets is not the same. But uh, everything else looks great. Uh, Godzilla, though, looks the same. I guess Godzilla always looks like this. At least, uh, when if you're talking about the latest one, which is uh, Godzilla minus uh, one, so at first glance, when it comes to these AI-generated videos, they always look good. But uh, when you really, really look at things, you start to see a lot of mistakes. Uh, you can see how the smoke, the smoke is not really, or the dust is not really behaving like actual smoke. Yeah, you can see the way this is falling, debris coming out of all the smoke. Of course, this in the future will be fixed, but for now, they aren't, so our jobs are really, really secure. So we can go back. Uh, yeah, I also did another example here to try and test out uh, the motion graphics or 
um, making commercials. And uh, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes the AI just isn't good enough or just doesn't even care. But uh, because here I was, uh, the prompt was create a perfume advert, sparkling particles, this and uh, the fluid simulation isn't good as well. And yeah, some in some areas uh, the AI does really well. Uh, in others, not so well. Even when it's good, you can tell that there is a lot of work that has to be done. And if you you are in a production pipeline and uh, the director requests some changes, uh, if the AI just recreates everything from scratch, changing everything uh, randomly, then you will never uh, get to final to the final render. That's all I wanted to share with you. I still have faith in the 3D industry. It's still a strong uh, industry because it's quite demanding uh, directors really want a lot of control when it comes to what they're producing uh, if they want a chopper a military chopper here uh, they don't want you to recreate the entire environment and uh, the entire animation they just want uh, just to add the chopper you can see we even lost the crowd we lost uh, because the prompt was just give me a different angle at a military a helicopter flying over and you can see that the scene just changed uh, totally the crowd was removed uh yeah no director would allow that so anyway by the way my course blender advanced effects is live uh, so you can check it out and uh yeah make some awesome effects uh learn how to make some awesome effects uh, some commercials and yeah see you in the next video